Well, Grand Rapids couple welcoming twins next year. They say they were hopeful for just one healthy baby after a cancer diagnosis five years ago. Tonight, Annie Sotowski introduces us to the woman who's actually bringing their babies into the world who they now call family. This has probably <laughs> been the, the one positive of 2020. Tammy and Jordan Myers are anxiously awaiting a girl. <laughs> and a boy come March. But Tammy isn't pregnant. This woman, Lauren Vermilia, is. I always had very easy uh, pregnancies and deliveries, and I kind of felt like that was a gift that I was given. And one she's always considered in the back of her mind. That's why she's carrying the Myers twins for them. She's the biggest part <laughs> in bringing these babies into the world. But to understand the gravity of this plot twist, we have to go back a few years. I was diagnosed with breast cancer in 2015. Um, and it kind of caught us by surprise. They soon learned that saving Tammy's life would cost her ability to create others. They said that the only way that we could um, have children of our own is to do an emergency egg harvest and harvest my eggs and then freeze them in hopes that things turned out well and we were able to try again later. Fast forward to fall 2019, the time to try presenting itself with a grant from the SAM Fund, a nonprofit that supports young cancer survivors. Money the Myers could use for an embryo transfer to a gestational carrier. It's huge to um, you know, carry a child for someone is no small act. The Myers nervously took their search for a carrier online, posting and hoping that someone could give them and their daughter Corinne the ultimate gift. We saw Tammy and Jordan's post and it was kind of like, oh, um, this could actually happen. The very first email message that we had was Lauren. After a series of what they call carrier speed dates, the Myers chose a different woman to continue the process. But right after getting the all clear for the embryo transfer in late February, their carrier backed out, partly due to uncertainty with COVID-19. It was heartbreaking. It was like hitting a brick wall all over again. And I would say our emotions spiraled for sure. And we started to feel like it was never going to happen. But weeks later, a little courage and a text message would get things back on track. I hit send and I stood up to walk away and she responded. It was like within a minute. two minutes. Yeah, <laughs> two minutes. I showed my husband their text and he's like, well, duh, we'll do it. The grant money was all used up, but with Lauren on board, the Myers say they felt a renewed push to keep going. By June 15th, we we're able to actually do the transfers. Lauren anticipated that day being one she'd have to go through on her own. They weren't gonna let anyone else in because of COVID. And then last minute they brought Tammy in. And so it was, it was awesome. Doctors at the fertility center in Grand Rapids transferred two embryos with no promise of either of them taking. They'd only know after the first ultrasound. There was one that for sure had taken, but the second one didn't seem to be growing. But two weeks later. It is oh. still smaller. But for now, there is an embryo with a heartbeat oh in it. Oh, my God. <laughs> and I was so. on the phone, so I, I sort of saw and yeah. I, I sort of heard. It's like, what did she say? What did she say? Twins. The only thing left to do was tell Corinne. She's been asking us since she knew that a brother and sister existed. I'm up to the top excited how long. <laughs> I, I don't know how long this guy goes, but that's <laughs> how long. <laughs> Even if it means losing the luxuries that come with being an only child. They're still in my bedroom. With two kids of her own, Lauren is no stranger to delivery day, but she knows this one will be a lot different. I'm sure at the time it's it's not going to be super easy or, you know, like the happiest thing. But at the same time, I'm I'm very confident that I'm done with having my own children. Uh, so the idea of, of having little babies that I can hand off to their parents is actually really awesome to me. Now 22 weeks along, the Myers are back in baby mode, prepping for twice the diapers and twice the amount of lost sleep. But for them, the joy is immeasurable. Our life has been all about cancer and now it feels like that door is opened, but this kind of feels like a transition where I can close that door, close that window and move on to the next phase of life or really get back to the life that we had before cancer. And come March, almost exactly a year after they thought a bigger family just wasn't in the cards, the Myers can celebrate a new date, two birthdays, all because of one woman. We don't know how to thank her for this really gift. You know, there's no amount 
of gratitude that could explain what we feel for Lauren. She stuck with us. That was our Annie Satowski reporting. The Myers are still working through the legal challenges now that come with these kinds of procedures, which can be tricky in the state of Michigan. But hey, twice the fun, yeah. twice the blessing with those twins. Nice to see good news yeah. coming out of 2020 indeed.